So here we go. A number one contenders match. Killa Kate taking on the queen of aerobic style, uh, Delilah Doom. And this is certainly an aerobic test for Killa Kate. We saw compete a little bit earlier on here tonight. And uh, Caitlin, that, that is your doing. This is your handiwork. Yeah, well, Killa Kate, man, she's, she's really just been such a pain in the ass. Um, and I felt like I owed her one. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to give her a number one contenders match. I'm going to make her double it. All the hell she's put me through, possible lawsuits she's put me through at previous events, going after the fans and stuff like that. Will she need her match here with Delilah Doom? Doing push ups right off the bat. God bless her. As that head scissors sunk in as Killa Kate trying to roll her way out of this. A very impressive victory earlier on here tonight against Ashley Damboise. Now, he's going to have to get through another indie wrestling standout in Delilah Doom. Absolutely. Delilah Doom is known, uh, you know, countrywide, really. And I believe she's, she has wrestled in Japan and Canada as well, but, like, man, Texas, California, uh, East Coast, doesn't matter, wherever. Delilah Doom's a household name. Kate's got her hands full. Quick roll up there from Killer Kate with Delilah Doom back to the side headlock. And a standoff. That was some good wrestling. Both these women are highly skilled, highly technical. Delilah is a little more known for her high flying abilities and her, uh, I guess you would say, positive energy. <laughs> but she is an extremely skilled grappler as well. Certainly has a lot of that. You have to wonder. Oh, we're both going to get our uh, stretches in. No, I'm just, you said you want to stretch, I want to stretch. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wonder for Delilah Doom if the fact that Killa Kate has competed earlier on here tonight, if that's factoring into her strategy, some of these, these early submission maneuvers, you wonder. If she's looking to just grind Killa Kate down, knowing that maybe she's not wrestling with a full tank right now. Possibly. I almost believe it's the wrong approach. Um, you know, Kate, Kate's just so good on the ground. Kate's just so good with her submissions. I, If I was going to wrestle her, whether or not she'd had a match earlier in the night or not, uh, I think I would stick to more ground and pound, but... You know, Delilah's a lot shorter than me. <laughs> so, you know, maybe she feels disadvantaged in that sense. She really is just... Yeah, yeah she really is just out-wrestling her right now, which... Nothing against Delilah Doom's wrestling skills, but she... As she is <laughs> doing the step-ups on the back of a kill Kate. Rolls through the cradle. Two count there for Delilah Doom. Looking for jumping a backslide. No, some jumping jacks. And a backslide. One. A two count there for Doom once again. We're up once again. Another two count. What a character. Well, Caitlin, uh, Vader Scott and I were talking about this during the last event as well. The strategy that goes into those repeated pinfalls of just making your opponent kick out at two. The energy that's, that has to be expended just to, to forcing them to push you off of them time and time again. Absolutely. Uh, and I'll say, whoa. They boot the there. Horse, right outside the ring. Uh, and I don't know if you're aware of this or not, Tori. Veda would definitely be aware. Oh. Come on, Another one. Double chop. So, in wrestling school, we actually do kickout drills. And that's to get used to having people on top of you repeatedly and having to kick out over and over again. That is a legitimate drill done in most wrestling schools. So, uh, it's, it's not like it's easy when you've got somebody your weight or, or close to your weight on top of you. Oh, looks like Killer K might have an arm bar. Rocking it over top of the top rope, and now Delilah Doom writhing in pain. 
He only gets four seconds to keep that locked in, but it looks like it was enough there to expose a weakness. Really cranking on that arm now. Say? The dynamic of this say? match has just changed in an instant. Locks down and snaps the elbow of Delilah Doom, does kill a Kate. She's so good at picking apart uh, a weakness and isolating a bar as Killa Kate. It just goes to her being a great mat technician. Delilah's made a mistake here. Even to fight back, she's got to use that bad arm. They're not able to get a lot on those back elbows, to your point, Caitlin. And now, still in some trouble here, back into a corner against the turnbuckles. Hard forearm there from Killa Kate. There you go. Fight back, girl. Forearms and chops from Delilah Doom as she's trying to just hit her elbow, trying to get maybe some blood flow to that left arm. But Killa Kate just wrenching on it and now stomping right on the elbow and a boot to the chest. What a combination there for the Cavalier. Delilah's in trouble for sure. Anytime you've got to slap life back into your own arm to make it work. <laughs> oh man, I, I feel for her right now. I know exactly what that feels like. And, and Kate looks like she's got a, a key lock on here. Delilah wise to hold on to her own hand here. Avoiding that arm bar getting locked in for a second time in this matchup. The damage, even four arm seconds drag. of an arm bar is done to her. Arm drag forces Kate to relinquish the hold, but she's back in control. Drives Doom right into the turnbuckle once again, a forearm right to the face. Charges in, but gets met, met with a back elbow and a boot to the face. Roll up here. Excellent. Oh, excellent combination. Holding on into almost like a rings of Saturn position here. No. Looks like Doom doesn't quite have that left arm locked, but she doesn't need it. She's just wrenching on the chin of Killa Katie now. Almost has some variation of a, a, a lying Boston Crab and is able to break the hold. A creative submission offense of Killa Kate. Now just working on the angle of the knee of Delilah Doom. So if you eliminate her arm, she can't strike. If you eliminate her legs, she can't fly. What else is there left for Delilah Doom to do? Well, to your point, Caitlin, I think that Delilah Doom is a wrestler that really feeds off the energy of the crowd. You know, she feeds off of that momentum and that, that positive energy. And she's looking to hear it from the crowd here in Wisconsin. One, break it, put on the two, three, come on, now break the hole. Resorting to having to use the rope to get a rope break is not something she does very often. She's usually got counters on counters. Wrench Beautiful gut wrench suplex there. Floating over Killa Kate, but now not focused on Delilah Doom. There's a crucible. Maybe about to pay for it, no. Now back in control, Bridges with another submission maneuver locked in. Kate okay, kind of lost focus for a second there, Caitlin, but immediately snapped back into action. As soon as it went to the mat, it's almost like Killa Kate just locked back into focus. But look at this, Delilah Doom rolls through for a cover. A count of two. Looking for another one. No. Ooh, a camel clutch position. There we go. He's got it locked in. Killa Kate just lucky that her heel just happened to be under the ropes. Caitlin, if she were about five inches towards the center of the ring, 
we might be talking about this match being over. Yeah, that could have been the end of it right there. Delilah's just got such a such a fighting spirit, man. No matter how down and out she is, she's she's always got tricks up her sleeve, and the people are always behind her. Good defense here from Delilah Dude. Blocking three forearm attempts. Landing five shots in a row. And now it's another knee to the face. A code breaker from Delilah Dude. the stamina to continue. Oh, up and over. German suplex. We're looking for another one. Didn't have the strength. There we go. German suplex. Saw Killer K trying to fight out of that by just dropping down to the mat where she's most comfortable. But the power of Delilah Dune. That forces your opponent to expend so much energy, deadlifting you off of your stomach into a German suplex. Not enough credit goes towards uh, Delilah and how truly strong she is. Delilah riding the momentum. Knee to the face. With Killa Kate in a prone position there. Leaned against the bottom turnbuckle, and this may be even worse. Oh! Leg drop to the back of the head. Just driving the face of Killa Kate once again into the hardest part of the ring. Delilah's gonna look to try and fly here. We haven't seen much of from her during this matchup, but she's been mostly grounded. Beautiful. Does she have the energy to make the cover? One, two. Killa Kate gets her shoulder up. Both women are down. Looks like Delilah's still got a bit of the upper hand, thankfully. Looks like Delilah's got the crowd into it. Chop right to the throat. That's a that's an homage to Caitlin Diamond if I've ever seen one. A warning from the referee, but nothing official. She gets away with it. Nice arm drag there from Delilah. Just like that, at a hip toss from Killer Kate. She's back in control. This is so back and forth. Nobody's holding the advantage super long here. A German suplex of her own. Lila Doom landed right on the back of her head, a cover. Only two. You could see her clutching the back of her head, even while in the pinfall position. As you just said, the momentum in this matchup, that pendulum just swinging back and forth. Both competitors have taken some serious punishment. You see Killer Kate just trying to stand up, just drops down to a knee. Yeah, she's, she's got to be hurting at this point, especially with the match earlier. Delilah Doom's no slouch, you know. Oh, going for the sleeper. Chin breaker. Very special by the looks of it. Killa Kate working her way out. Goes through with an arm drag. Doom may be looking for a lariat. Gets caught. Reversal after reversal. What do we have here? 619. Baby! Oh, and a little follow up. I haven't seen that one in a while. She can't even she can't even flip her over for the cover though. Uh, and this goes back to some of the work early in the match. Killa Kate working on that left arm in particular. And that probably was the difference between this match being over and Killa Kate still having an opportunity to become the number one contender. This is crazy. This is like too close to call. She's measuring up Killa Kate now. What's Delilah thinking? Going for pump kick, no. Oh, face buster by Kate. 
Could this be it? Center of the ring. Only two, Delilah Dean gets the shoulder up. Here Kate must be thinking, what does she have to do to finish off Delilah Doom, who has been so resilient throughout this matchup. Yeah, Kate's really like a, a thinking women's wrestler. She's, she's always plotting, she's always scheming, but what else does she have left at this point? Well, this is something she hasn't tried, going to the top rope. There's usually a reason that she doesn't do that. Might not pay off. But she is getting belted with forearms right now, trying to fight Delilah Doom off. Now this is Delilah's wheelhouse up here on the ropes. Looks like Scared it might backfire for Killa Kate. Delilah Doom may be looking for a superplex from the top rope. Over. Look at this. Three. Wait a minute. Hold on. Two shoulders were down there. So I would think she's won. That looked, that looked very high angle though. Like it also looked like her shoulders were down. Jeffrey Jesse looks just as confused as I am. Well, both women think that they were the one. the official word on this. What is going on? Ashley Danbois earlier on here tonight determining a performance like this. I know you're not her biggest fan, but this was certainly an admirable performance from Killer King. Absolutely. You know, I try and keep my personal feelings out of it as much as possible. Uh, that was a fantastic match. That was a that was a career match for Killer Kate, in my humble opinion. So I, I have to respect her. I have to. Well, you're gonna have some choices to make now as far as what the rankings look like when it comes to this women's title. Do we have two number one contenders? I don't even want to think about it.